Hi there, I'm Ben Shepard. Now, I think it's fair to say I'm not the most confident cook, but I do like having a bash in the kitchen. And as even simple dishes can really impress your family and friends, I always really enjoy it when I do give it a go. It's a great skill to learn, and it actually can be really easy if you choose the right dish. That's why I've teamed up with Red Tractor Beef and Lamb for their 5 by 25 campaign. Their mission is to inspire young people to master at least five basic recipe dishes by the age of 25. It's not that much when you get stuck in and give it a go. So I'm gonna show you how to make Ben's shepherd's pie. For the dish, you're gonna need. First of all, you need to peel and finely chop the onion and the carrot, followed by the potatoes. You wanna chop them into medium chunks. Don't worry about keeping it too neat as it all adds to the texture of the dish. Whack your pan over the heat, and the first thing you're gonna need is your oil. You wanna stick your teaspoons of oil, whack in the onions, and also stick the carrots in right now as well. Takes a little bit longer for them to cook, and you're gonna sweat these down. Go a little bit softer, be a little bit careful that they don't brown. So next up, it's the meat. Great meals start with good quality ingredients. So when you're in your supermarket doing your shopping for lamb, always look out for a quality mark like the Red Tractor Lamb logo. The logo shows that the meat is farm assured so you know it's been responsibly produced. So we take the mince and we add it to the pan in batches. Make sure you mash them down. Slowly need to brown that all up. Right now, get something that you can use to take off some of the excess oil. Just stick that to one side and get rid of that a little bit later on. At this point, we're going to whack in our peas. If you haven't got peas, then you can use mushrooms or sweet corn. The other thing about shepherd's pie is it's a fantastic dish for leftovers. So we're going to take the flour and we're going to stir in the flour and we're going to cook this for one to two minutes. Get your tomato puree, take your brown sauce or your Worcester sauce, bung that in. Okay, now we're going to add the rosemary. Make sure you chop it up quite finely. A little bit of that. Let's get that stirred in. And now we come to my own personal touch, sweet chilli sauce. Honestly, it might sound a bit crazy, but it is a really perfect complement to the dish. What well, is a classic dish, you might not use it, but it adds that extra kick. If you want, you can add salt and pepper just to season. Add your vegetable stock, which goes in. Make sure it's all bubbling up nicely. When it gets to this point, just turn the heat down you're going to want to simmer it for about 20 minutes. Make sure you get a lid like this one and leave it on because, and this is really important, you don't want all the liquid in the pan to evaporate away because you don't want your sauce to dry out. So meanwhile, we can prepare the potato topping, the mash. Now, I love a bit of mash. So as you're getting your mash, all done and dusted, preheat the oven to about 180 degrees centigrade, 350 degrees Fahrenheit if you've got an electric oven, or gas mark four, if it's gas. Right, now, the moment of truth. Let's have a look at this. Oh, delicious. You get a big spoon, and you take this absolute delicious filling, spoon it in, uh, and then you want to get a big spoon or something, and you want to start putting the potato over the top, this lovely, creamy mashed potato. So, once that's all looking lovely and neat and nicely spread, you can maybe try a little twist on the classic shepherd's pie dish. We're taking some cheese and making this into a cheesy mash. All you need to do is get a cheese grater, of course. You don't have to use cheese. You could use a couple of dollops of soft cream cheese if you want. Crack up a few crisps or tortillas. So I'm going to take that uncovered for 30 minutes. Allow the potatoes to brown. I'm off to have a cup of tea. I'd encourage everyone at home to give a go at my shepherd's pie. Get involved and learn to master this dish. It's not that tricky. And also some other basic cooking skills. For more fantastic tips and recipes and to show your support for my shepherd's pie, check out the website 5by25.com and enjoy.